Hi everybody, welcome to Vanessa, my life, my journey. I am sitting in the van and this, you're looking at the front of my van where I have the petition, uh, it's a red comforter going across the front to give me a blackout. So I've been trying to brainstorm and think of a good way to do a blackout and I really do like the comforter as a blackout because it's thick and then when you double it it's going to give you extra 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 protection where nothing can see through it but the problem is trying to attach that up to the top of the van especially since uh, directly behind the seats there is not one of these rivets directly behind the seat so I have been trying to brainstorm and see what is going to be my solution for a blackout curtain and uh, I think I've come up with something so I want to share that with you and before I turn the camera to myself let me just let you know it's gonna be a little scary <laughs> So you guys yes I have a solution that I think is going to work perfect for my situation and I think it's gonna work for you as well so let me put the camera down also uh, we have some technical difficulties going on over here my glasses broke the other day and I'm out having a garage sale uh, as you guys know it is, ooh, the camera ain't even on me. Oh my goodness. As you guys know, it's a process when you're trying to enter van life and you're trying to sell everything before you enter van life. So, uh, my glasses broke. I'm out having a garage sale. Uh, and I had a garage sale like a couple of weeks ago, sold some stuff and I came back out to sell some more stuff so uh, I've been out for the last two or three days so you guys I did figure out a solution uh, I had thought of another solution the other day and then I was thinking about it again and I came up with another solution so let me show you guys what I'm gonna do and you could do you could use for this once you grasp grasp the concept you could use whatever you want to use and I also might use these same things across my rivets once I uh, enclose close them if I want just a little extra trim or, or to add a little extra touch I might use these and I want to encourage you guys when it comes to van life you guys you need to think outside the box you need to think outside the box the reason why I'm wiping these off is because they're not brand new they've been in my uh, they've been in my storage and another thing you guys I encourage you if you want to do van life and you're like me you're on a budget and you don't have no budget <laughs> you don't have no budget no money start scouring start uh scouting or scouring i can't say that word properly uh your stockpile your house for things that you can trans transition into van life with you so that way you won't have to spend that much money and start looking at stuff in a different way than the purpose that it's created for and you might end up finding a solution to a lot of different things so I have these if you guys know what these are they are for like around the, front, the door when you have a carpet or something 
there around for around the door I don't know what they call them but uh, anyway these are for the door so I'm gonna use these what I'm gonna do is I'm going to use my same comforter I like that comforter and the thing about this is anytime I want to take this down anytime I want to wash my comforter or change out the color of the comforter if I find another piece of material or cloth that I think would be better than what I have up there then I can always switch this out and this is going to be very quick and easy so if you do not have I want you to use what you have so I'm using these because I have these I didn't go out and buy them I'm repurposing them so if you do not have these then it's going to be the same method with a piece of wood so i also have this piece of wood laying around this was what i was going to initially use and we're just going to put that what i was going to do is take the comforter and screw the comforter in to this from this side and then hold it up and screw that to the top so this was the piece that I was going to use but then I remembered yesterday when I was inside of my storage that I seen these so I was like oh let me go find those things so what I'm going to do you guys is I'm going to take down let me show you how I have this pinned up right now uh, I just have that pinned up with those little clamps the little clamps let me see y'all it's a little dark let me see if i can lighten y'all up a little bit okay So I think I lit, lit y'all up a little bit. So those little clamps are just pinned up in the corners there. So what I'm going to do, I have my uh, comforter folded over twice. So what I'm going to do is I'm leaving it folded over twice. And I'm just going to go up in the middle and start securing the blanket to the top portion up here to this up here so let me back up and show you guys that I'm gonna have to move all of this other stuff out of the way so let me just see if I can give y'all a good view of what I'm doing I need to move this Got my phone charging. So I'm gonna put that across that way. And if you don't have anything in front of yours like I do, then yours is gonna be quick and easy process
Now I have to find a drill. Okay, you guys, I need to go find something. I'll be right back. Okay, you guys, I was trying to lighten the camera up a little bit. I have my self-type tapping screws. These are from uh, Home Depot, and they are the Teeks, T-E-K-S, self-drilling lat screw, L-A-T-H, three-fourth inches. I don't know if you can see that. I got my drill. I hope it works. Uh... And I have these things, the door, whatever. I don't even know what they're called. Somebody playing music. And I have my comforter folded over so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go underneath the comforter and put this underneath And if I want my comforter where it's all the way to the floor, it's not going to be even. So all I'm going to do is raise my comforter and slide this through. And it does bend. So I'm gonna do that. Let me get my screws. You might have to put your head under here. And you might drop the screw just like I did. Then you might drop it again. And your glasses might fall off. <laughs> Not fine, dude. I'm getting the drill.
see. My drill might not be strong enough. I have technical difficulties because my bit is a little short one. It's a little short bit. Let me just see without this, will that go in? I think I need another bit. Make sure I was putting it in there right. Definitely need another bit. I'll be back. Okay, you guys, I don't know if my drill has enough power, but I'm going to see if I can get somebody to bring me a cordless drill. If not, we'll have to resume this project on another day. Okay, you guys, I got it up there. I forgot to turn the camera on. My friend came and brought me a drill and his friend was helping me hold it up so I forgot to bring the drill 
uh, it's a little crooked from the back side but that's because it goes up on an arch and I mean it don't really matter to me I'm not really concerned about that I just want it to be touching the ground from the back side but I'm gonna show you guys to give you a better idea so I folded it over and as you can see it's touching the ground uh, and you can always take this down whenever you want so just look up in the inside and the metal parts is on the inside it's looped over over that and going all the way across and I overlapped those uh, bars and took it to the end and the one that's coming and meeting the other one I didn't screw that it but it's up there secure from the other ends so that is how that is looking and it's secure and firmly up against the top up there now if for some reason or another I want to uh, and I could always raise that up and come from the front to the back if I wanted to uh, and if I want to secure it to the side I could also take something and secure it to the side but right now I just was concerned about the top and keeping it up there and being able to do my insulation for my ceiling without this obstructing the view of that so that is it you guys that is how I did my uh, divider and blackout curtain for my cargo van so now all I have to do is put this I don't know what y'all can see Now I'm going to put my cart back over here. Okay, so let's see. It's not even, but that's because it has lines in it. You see that it's not even. I could always take this down and put something else up there so yeah you guys I am pleased I am happy I could change it out whenever I want to and I'm sure I will soon because I don't know what that color is gonna go with what I'm decorating the inside of the van is 
in. But I don't have to worry about it falling down, y'all. Woohoo! Can I get a thumbs up? Yes. Let me set this camera down. Let me show you. Woo! Y'all, my glasses is broken. But we made it, y'all. We was having all kind of technical difficulties. My glasses was falling off while I was looking up. I forgot to turn the camera on, y'all, because it was too much. Too much. So, I am so happy. I got that done today. I'm sitting here today selling some stuff at my garage sale. Trying to sell everything, you guys. In order to start van life and get the stuff that I need for van life. I got a lot more junk at home I need to bring out to sell. So it's a, it was supposed to rain today. It actually have not rained yet, but it's looking it's looking a little cloudy. It's looking a little cloudy. I don't want it to rain. And it ain't supposed to rain tomorrow. So, if it's not supposed to rain tomorrow, I don't think it's going to rain now. We prayed and asked God not to let it rain. So, please, Lord, don't let it rain. But anyway, y'all, thank y'all for watching. Don't forget to thumbs up the video. Leave lots of comments down below. Press the subscribe button. Turn on the notification bell. And be sure to come back for another video. I will talk to you guys later. Bye now. Thanks for watching.